Hey guys, if you've found yourself in need of a last minute Halloween costume, I'm sharing two easy options that require minimal makeup skills and minimal materials. Let's get started. My face makeup is basically done, but I'm going to be using this perfusion kit to bronze and highlight. I love being tan year round, but especially on Halloween, so load it on. The Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder for Under Eyes may be my favorite product of 2019. I use it every day and Halloween should be no exception. I apply it with my finger for a quick brightening and blurring effect. Next up is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in the shade Pink Sky. Dab it onto your cheeks with your fingers for a perfect rosy look. I wanted to go a bit heavier on the blush than normal so I used a brush as well. Using a highlight from that perfusion kit, I'm going to sweep my brush across my cheekbones and down my nose for a subtle glow. My eyebrows are microbladed, thank you Desiree. For Connecticut people, I'll leave her info below, but today I wanted them to pop a little more. So using my favorite e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in neutral brown, I'm going to darken them up a bit. Oh, here we have my favorite part. Just kidding, you guys know that liquid liner is my nemesis, but with a black uzu liner, I'm gonna attempt a dramatic wing. Using a Bare Minerals black crayon liner, I'm going to fill in my under and high line. With this dark brown crayon, I'm just going to smoke out the area beneath my waterline. Using the Laura Mercier Panoramic Mascara, I'm going to coat my lashes and follow up with a coat of the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eye. I love to double up on mascaras for a fuller look. Oh, and do not forget your bottom lashes. I'm going to outline my lips with a Laura Mercier liner in the shade Crimson and then fill them in with a matte Maybelline lipstick in the color red for me. Taking the black crayon eyeliner, I'm going to draw and fill in a small heart on the tip of my nose. Moving on to the rat's nest on my head, I'm going to brush out my hair and part it down the middle. I'm going to secure both sides into small space buns using black scrunchies, which will replicate the look of Minnie's ears. Any unruly hairs can easily be tucked back into place. I love this look because not only can it be done with minimal makeup skills, but with dirty hair as well. I didn't have a red ribbon on hand, so I used a bow that was attached to one of my headbands and pinned it to one of the buns. Use what you have. The last part is the actual costume, and the best thing about this is that you don't really need one. A black t-shirt and some leggings will do the trick. And that's it, an easy DIY Minnie Mouse for those in need of a last minute costume. Now, if you're more into the spooky stuff, I'm going to rewind this look a bit and show you how to create a creepy clown. Using the NYX Ultimate Edit Petite Ash Palette, I'm going to use a shadow brush to apply this dark blue shade beneath my eyes. You can use any color of shadow and any palette. I just thought that this deep, cool blue would be the best contrast to the warm colors seen on Mini. So I'm doing my best to blend with my brush and my finger to achieve an even gradient, but it's really okay for this look to be a little messy. I'm bringing the dark blue shadow to my creases and using a lighter blue color on the lids as well. With a white fluffy brush, I'm going to try and blend out the entire area. With that same black uzu liner, I'm going to draw a thin line beneath my eye and drag a tear-like stream down to my cheek. With the black crayon liner, I'm going to disguise the heart on my nose by transforming it into a black circle. Using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Brooklyn Thorn, I'm going to overline my lips, again, it's okay to be sloppy here, before filling them in with the Laura Mercier Chocolate Divine Lipstick. And with the lip liner, I'm going to draw in a couple of smile lines on both sides of my mouth. You could honestly leave this hair as it is, but I wanted to mess it up a little bit, so I'm tugging at the buns and loosening the look. I'm going to pull out a few hairs in the front and by my ears. I took a small claw to clip the buns together to complete the hair. For this costume, I feel like you could get really creative. I would wear a lot of mismatched clothes and layers. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful if you're in need of a last minute costume. I have another video on my channel sharing three other last minute costume ideas, so I'll link that here if you want to check it out. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what you're going to be for Halloween this year. I hope you all have a happy and safe holiday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!